Hey everybody, Asher here, and it's a very exciting day because it's the day Battletech comes out for everyone. So what we're going to be doing today is playing the campaign mode. So this is a story-based campaign where you are flying through lots of cutscenes, but also lots and lots of interesting combat. It's a lot like the XCOM campaign mode if you're familiar with that game, and I hope you are, uh, where there's story missions as well as a lot of things that you can kind of do freeform but it's in the Battletech universe so obviously you're going around in giant robots seems to be a motif for the uh, channel this year regardless i'm going to be going through and just allowing the cutscenes to play out so you can sit back and just enjoy because the animation's beautiful the voice acting is top notch i have really enjoyed what i've played in this game so far but let's go ahead hit that campaign button I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Koromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League, a golden age of prosperity, upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. So, welcome to the Oregon Reach. This is going to be where we begin creating our character and then diving into the story. Like I said, the cutscenes are just great. So, if you haven't seen them before, by all means, watch them definitely here. But there's a lot of good stuff coming up. But regardless, see, Oregon Reach, a small kingdom in the Rimward periphery. This has all the Battletech sort of backstory lore. So, some of you may know this, some of you may not. But uh, the Federation organized around a parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family, which is the lady that we heard before. Three, for three generations under House Arano, the Oregon Coalition has remained re relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. It's here your story begins. So, there are so many places and backgrounds that you can do here. And we have all of these factions that we can choose from where we came from. And, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you, I have played some Mech Warrior and Battletech stuff in the past, and there's a lot of different options that are pretty interesting. Once upon a time, I would do House uh, Nova Cat or Star Nova, but unfortunately, they are not really represented here, although some of them did end up joining the Free Worlds League or Merrick. That's not really what I'm looking for. So, we could end up going for all different kinds of places. Uh, I mean... What it really boils down to is that we'll have some different story options depending on who we end up choosing here. So what I'm going to end up doing is just going through some of these things from before. Like you could do from the periphery, which is kind of where we are in the galaxy right now, or deep space, which is out in unexplored space. But I think we're going to be going with the Magistry of Canopus. Mech Wars hail from Canopus can run the gamut of skills and fighting styles, but they often favor clever and unorthodox tactics in the field. While smaller than the great successor states of the Inner Sphere, the magis or Magistry 
is one of the major powers of the Rimworld periphery. The Magistry is a matriarchal society led by the Magistrix. This is an elected position open to any woman but largely controlled by House Centrella. Due to the family's popularity, the Magistry supports an open society that ensures that personal liberty of all citizens, their right to live and fight as they see fit. So kind of the sort of Rimworld, Outer Worlds, happy ideas here. But you are of noble birth, apparently, though immigrants to the Oregon Reach, your family soon established comfortable presence in a small backwater system at the edge of the Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family had become de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You are the oldest child and the heir to the family's ancestral battle tech and old blackjack BJ1. This is where you met Raju Mastiff Montgomery, a veteran of the Succession Wars, who your parents hired for a season to train you. Raju was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly became skilled under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life until on your 16th birthday. And you see, we get some different stats here. Gunnery, tactics, piloting, guts. Those are kind of your four big things. We could do you were exiled. You stuck out on your own. Your family went bankrupt. You died in an accident. Your family was betrayed. Now, we could bend max and uh, try and go for all of these things here. But I think I'm going to go for maybe the less controversial one. You're 16. As an heir noble family, you grew up wanting nothing. And as it turns out, you couldn't stand the life of a pampered nobility. Finally, one night, you stole away the family's blackjack and set off to find a new life that you call your own. So piloting and tactics plus one. I mean, there's all these other things that do have some kind of sob story. You were exiled. Wham, things happened due to a bad mistake. Your family went bankrupt. Whoops. Your family died in an accident or was betrayed where they also died. But stuck out on your own kind of fits I think and out on your own you fell into a life of all different kinds of things I could be a soldier and get plus one gunnery a pirate and get plus one guts a gladiator and get plus one gunnery an interstellar mercenary and get plus one tactics a frontier fleet freelancer and get plus one tactics or a merchant guard and get plus one piloting and there's a lot of different options I can do here I'm kind of not wanting to spread myself super thin on skills here so I do kind of want to go for something that has tactics or piloting here so it, I think I'm gonna go for taxi you run the Rimworld periphery as a freelancer signing on for whatever odd contracts you can find as a mech war for hire it was a solitary life but as you became more comfortable with the internet lifestyle you found you were able to make a decent living helping people on the frontier so while running a routine patrol until years later you crossed paths with Raju again while running a patrol for a local government in the outskirts of the Oregon Reach, you were set upon by pirates and left for dead. Raju happened to be visiting the capital city and picked up your distress call. And upon rescuing you, he offered you a job at House Serrano. So that's how you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Kamea Arano. Keep in mind the introduction here, as we have little pops, pop-ups for everything. Brave, idealistic, determined, the Lady Kamea Arano is the daughter of the late High Lord uh, to meet the Arana II do, to inherit the throne of the Oregon Coalition. So that kind of introduction is, is not the beginning of the story. This is the beginning of the story. So we love frame stories here. Now there are all kinds of people that I could be here and we do have potential for call signs as well. Uh, technically there's a lot of things we could do for customization, whether it is a male or female. Technically for what we are doing here with our background, it's more appropriate to have a female pilot. Although we can use she, they, or he. But it is more appropriate for us to have a female pilot here. So we'll still do the call sign Asher just to make it simple. And what's our first name going to be? I love random buttons. Uh, Kayla, that's fine. No, 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 no. Kayla, son, no, Floyd. Like I said, we just got, we got all things of, uh, so if you want to do wells, that's fine. So, Ash, because we set things on fire. Now, there's a lot of customization options here as well, as, uh, we could do lots of things here. We could go for the super crazy hardcore face paint. Yeah, just some things that are kind of a little, it's terrifying, I don't know. There should be... A random option here somewhere we don't have too much in the way of face tattoos although we could totally go for it I kind of like the idea of some kind of scarring because after all our background does say we did have some terrible battle stuff so there we go that's pretty good 
hairstyle, lots of different options. Like I said, it's all it's all pretty cool. I don't really like the radioactive <laughs> tattoo on the top though. That's fine. All right, and here we go. After some fiddling around with different things here, here is our portrait. There's lots of different options. Like I said, you can adjust the camera, lighting, clothing, and that's a that's a good portrait. Like I said, looks like someone who it's not it's not the default. There's lots of different default options here, but this is gonna be Kayla. Am I comfortable with this name? Sure, why not? So let's go ahead and hit the next button. And here's our background, our character. We have four points in tactics. Tactics do what? Tactics increase the effectiveness of called shot opportunities, reduce the penalty for indirect fire, and improves minimum range of weaponry. Piloting increases melee hit chance and base sprint distance, also improves the threshold of stability that triggers unsteady. So interestingly, we're good at tactics, not so good at shooting things, but that's okay. In terms of chance to hit with ranged weaponry, and then guts is improve the maximum health. It also reduces penalty for weapon recoil and threshold of heat triggers. So, we have our character here decades ago. Your family came to the Oregon Reach from the Magistry of Canopus. The day of your 16th birthday, you stuck out on your loan, sick of the noble life, and then out on you fell into the life of a freelance frontier, frontier freelancer. Cool stuff. Let's go ahead and hit the confirm button. The High Lord Tamadi Arano II is dead. The Oregon Reach is left on a certain crossroad. Once prosperous, so now a kingdom in decline, surrounded by powerful neighbors. Lord Santiago Espinosa, brother-in-law of the late High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving council of the founding houses must be dissolved. He proposes a directive that would conscript their house guard and centralize power under a single throne. However, the High Lord's heir, the noble Lady Kamea Arano, is determined to rebuild the Reach without transforming it into an authoritarian state. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and is rebuked as vehement pleas to reconsider. On the morning of Lady Arano's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Massif Montgomery, makes preparations to escort her safely to the coronation procession that awaits in Cordia City. Alright, so we're about to begin our first mission here. We have... All the background setting we have this beautiful day it's coronation day let's go ahead and begin command interface initiated and of course we get our first uh, tutorial mission here so we can go ahead and just learn to move everything around this is a uh, this is a game that does take place on a very interesting strategy board it's not just flat or anything there's all kinds of terrain stuff to consider so Magic is going to talk. Okay, Ashrad, Espinosa, Refit Yards. Rush their pairs with their blackjack. Looks like it's all one piece, but we should run some diagnostics just to be sure. Standard field test, you know the drill. So more importantly, though, I want to tell you more about the job I brought you out here to do now. Do me a favor and get that battle mech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. So this is your little in-context tutorial for everything. So click the mech warrior's portrait tab I'll to cycle right between these available. Kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. Ah, oh, surprise, surprise. Well, you never begin the story on the day where nothing happens, right? So I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tem uh, Tamidi's funeral, and I'm worried about Lady Kamei's safety during her coronation procession. Anyway, looks like your actuaries check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnout old urban mechs and open like fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. Okay, so we can your trust their instincts. So we can fire on one of these. You see, we got all these weapons available. Ninety-five percent chance to hit. So that'll be fun. Right now, the current loadout. First explosion. Uh, right now, the loadout for the blackjack is very heat problematic. So we'll have to watch out for that. Good shot. Your guns are in working order, at least. So there's a targeting dummy in the woods. Now, I've been trading Lady Arano since she is 14. She can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll be just as effective of a ruler. It's on us to see her safely in Decordia City. I will rest easier once she's in the capital with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria, well, she's only beginning training under me for a single season, but she's already strapped or sh uh, shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot like you, in fact. Truth be told, I can't even read the words. I'm so excited. Anyway, we should run and check on the targeting computer. You see that drone over there? The one moving through the tree line? Put some hurt on it for me. 
and when it turns, take it out with the rear angle shot. Camilla's like a defense. daughter to me, and her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. So we'll do one fire here. So because it's in the woods, we do get a damage penalty against that. That's one of the terrain things, and this tutorial kind of tries to Victoria tell you. Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. That's very nice. All right, so we got another shot here, and we can see now if we look here, uh, we're targeting. That's where the red area is. We're targeting the rear, so we're gonna put a, some damage on the backside. And it's gone. Enemy unit destroyed. Nice shot. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with the Regan politics, but the Reach was badly shaken by the High Lord's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power, and Kamea belongs on the throne. Go ahead and fire up your jump, Jed's kids. I want to see you descend this cliff face and aim for that patch of ground there near the edge of the lake. So... Here's our next turn. Once again, teaching us how to do all the things. Jump jets, hotkeys are fun, and we just want to land in the target. Note those little uh, arrows pointing to the side. Those uh, are evasion charges, which you don't really have like cover in this game like you do in uh, uh, XCOM. You do have trees that will give a half damage penalty, but you don't want to just sit and overwatch the whole time behind cover. You've got to keep moving in mech warrior. Jump jets are a good way to do that, except Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. So water, another very important thing in Mech Warrior. Works a lot like in real life where it'll dissipate heat really well. Warning. Plasma leak detected jump jet malfunction. Jump jet systems damage system inoperable until we open. Oh, for the love of all the gods! This is what I get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much of a choice. The Espinosa refit yards were backlogged like you wouldn't believe. It looks like they were trying to process every single royal guard mech in time for the coronation. There's any time to get your jets replaced, or so we're just going to have to make do without them. Go ahead and take that mech down with the melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is going to break on your blackjack before we go down the road. So. Click the melee targeting radical and press V to cycle through melee targets. Then press the attack button. So we can just hit V. That's probably going to be the better way to do that. Melee attack using piloting skill to hit. So we do have a pretty good piloting skill. We do have good tactics. The problem is we're not as good at shooting things, but that's okay. Good hit. At least that's solid. All right. One last test. I want you to take your black chap up to, up to sprint and evade my attack. Look, we don't have arms. We have guns for arms because it's a black chap. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that you're mecha maneuver. All right, so now my buddy's actually going to be firing on me here. And you see, once again, if we move just a little bit, we get one sprint charge. But if we sprint all the way up here, we get up to three. We can get more than that. This depends on the pilot and everything else. But these evasion charges are what's key to keeping you from getting hit or taking too much damage. You can see we got targeted. We lost one there. Congratulations, Asher. Your black chat's as combat ready as it can be given the circumstances. For what it's worth, I hope that my suspicions turned out to be unfounded. And we end the day having a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know you'll be ready. All right, it's time to move out. Lady Arano is waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Alright, so time to move again. And we could do the walk. We could do the sprint just to go ahead and get over here. But as I said, we're going through the introductory missions. And the introductory missions are scripted, but we gotta get through them first because it's a very important story and establishment. So we're gonna go ahead and stop here. I know this makes it a little bit short, but I kinda like to keep the character creation and stuff a little bit separate, and we'll pick it up next time with the very first mission in the game as Raju signs off. Asher, allow me to introduce Kamea Arano, the soon-to-be High Lady of the Eurekan Coalition, is Lady Victoria on this channel, and we're going to pick up right from this spot next time. So thanks for watching. Take care.